This is Pastor Bob Richardson welcoming you to A Moment in the Word, a ministry of Southside Church, Lakeland, Florida. Join Pastor Stevens as he shares a moment from God's Word that just may transform your life. Have you ever wondered, does God call us into ministry with Him? Does God have a plan for my life? Do I have a purpose in God's kingdom? You know, these are questions that many people ponder most of their life. All of us want God to be pleased with us, not because of the work that we do for Him, but rather for the faith that we express in Him. Yet, we desire to express our love through good works so that others can know of the love of God. It was Paul referring to himself as a debtor on many occasions, and we too appreciate what Christ has done for us when He saved us. Therefore, we now desire to spend our life in telling others what Jesus has done in our life. Well, from the Old Testament, Jeremiah was a man that God called when he was very young. From the book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, verses 4 through 10, Jeremiah records this. He says, The Lord gave me this message. I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. Before you were born, I set you apart and appointed you as my prophet to the nations. O sovereign Lord, I said, I cannot speak for you. I'm too young. The Lord replied, don't say I'm too young, for you must go wherever I send you and say whatever I tell you. And don't be afraid of the people, for I will be with you and I'll protect you. I, the Lord, have spoken. Then the Lord reached out and touched my mouth and said, look, I have put my words in your mouth. Today I appoint you to stand up against nations and kingdoms. Some you must uproot and tear down, destroy and overthrow, but others you must build up and plant. Notice with me that Jeremiah felt unqualified. First, he felt like he was too young. Secondly, he struggled with fear. And third, the Lord promised to be with him. You know, God's call is never easy because God wants to stretch us to become more than we are presently. The challenges that we face will be real, but God will show up and we will learn just how real God can be. The closer and more involved we are with people, the more we learn who they are. And it's in the same way with God. If we work closely with Him, we learn more about who He is, and the rewards of doing so, my friend, are fantastic. No relationship worth having comes to us without work and commitment. When God calls us, He will enable us to overcome any disadvantages we face, because His plan is always perfect. Some would tell us that a call from God is only for those who are to be full-time ministers or prophets. But we read the words of Peter in 1 Peter 1 and 9. It says, you are a chosen people. You're a royal priest, a holy nation, God's very own possession. As a result, you can show others the goodness of God, for he called you out of the darkness into his wonderful light. We see in this what is referred to as the priesthood of every believer. This tells us that God has a special place, a special call for each person that God calls through salvation into his kingdom. Yes, God has a specific call for some that will involve a full-time commitment of time and others will have a call that involves less time. But that does not mean that it is less significant. Every part of a puzzle is important to the completion of the picture. And so you, my friend, are important to the picture that God wants to show to the world. We may be called to a public ministry within a local church, a specific business or education or medicine or parenthood, but no one specific call is more or less important. 
Rather, they're all important to the call God has for each of us. So may I ask you, what has God called you to do? While I cannot answer that specifically for you, I do believe that I know what that is for me personally. And in the same way, God wants you to know personally what he wants for your life. And whatever that is, I can promise you that it will be significant for God's kingdom. So keep listening in for we're going to be talking more about this in weeks to come. But may God bless you today as you seek to walk with God and fulfill your purpose in God's kingdom. Thank you for joining us. Need prayer? Email us at church at southsideag.com and we will pray for you.